Hey guys, Dan the Wolfman here. I usually do MMA grappling and combatives, Russian martial arts, all that stuff you know my channel for. Um, but uh, because I'm kind of packing up moving going on a, a lengthy vacation again, I wanted to do a little video. Uh, you might see my other ones, which led to me being surrounded by four cops in my house just a hour ago, which was pretty scary because I had uh, picked up and moved my airsoft from the bag to the ground and my window uh, shade was open even though I'm on the second floor. That's interesting. You might want to watch that video if you want to see how questions and answers go with uh, law enforcement officers and um, how that could have turned into a much worse situation for me. Anyway guys, um, love an airsoft and I think anyone that carries concealed especially or even you know people that carry have a gun in their uh, home for self-protection needs to seriously look at it and not think of it as a child's thing. Um, you know, most gun owners are lucky if they go to the range once a year, you know. You know, I'm lucky if I can get to once a month. I hope for more like, you know, every other week. Realistically, I would really like to be shooting uh, every week at least. But um, hopefully uh, you guys will look at Airsoft as a training method. Number one, it's awesome fun. And number two, it's, it's probably the most realistic thing you can do. Yeah, the recoil is not the same and all that. But guys, um, here I got my SIG Airsoft and, you know, my SIG uh, 320 Compact. So, generic holster fits this, so you didn't get any kind of your cheap generic holsters. You probably have some laying around if you're a gun guy. So yeah, on this, this is a, a simple, cheap $13 spring gun. It's uh, made in China. The first one I bought actually didn't work, so I had to uh, return that. But, um, you know, it's, it's pretty much the same. The grip's not perfect. It's a, a little different. But, you know, it, it gives you something to play with that is similar to uh, your piece that you carry if you're in a constitutional carry state, like I'm thinking of moving to eventually, or if you have your CHL like I do. So, um here I'll compare these. Obviously, this is more like a uh, 226 or a 228, but huh? So get something that you're able to do airsoft that um, is similar to your carry piece. You know, there's a lot of choices out there. This fits the same cheap holster that I have for now. I want to get a better holster, probably an Alienware. Um, I usually outside the waistband, but I want to get uh, something better than this. It's a generic holster that fits the Smith pretty well. Obviously, it was for a Glock mold. It kind of scuffs up uh, the gun too much. Empty, empty, empty. Both firearms were checked before this video. So this is a more expensive CO2 gun that I got on sale. I think it's usually like 47 and I got it for 31 something like that. Uh, big 5. Uh, and this sucker's great. It, it, it fits really good. It has pretty decent sights. Uh, it's pretty similar. Okay. Here's the real deal. The fact that I can get it in the same holster is, is amazing. Here's the real deal. Okay. So guys, why should you do airsoft? For a lot of reasons, okay? You should actually get it, put it in a holster and, and do role playing scenarios. Uh, eventually when I have a dojo of my own, soon, uh, hopefully, um, I will be doing airsoft combatives. And going through scenario role playing training is still probably the best thing you can do and you can do it on the cheap. You don't need simulations, well, I'm sure that's awesome. You can simply buy an airsoft gun, a spring gun for $13, this gun for $43, $41. Like, it gives you great, uh, amazing feedback. And you quickly learn that you are not in your perfect isosceles or weaver stance when things even like a little BB that, that hurt a little bit are going at you. 
Now imagine the real fear and adrenaline when real bullets are flying your way. So, uh, I've been playing uh, a few times with uh, my current girlfriend's seven-year-old son. And you run around and shoot each other, and yeah, I got a little target, but you will uh, see how quickly, how quickly um, you find out that you're not Mr. Gung-Ho Awesome that you think you are plucking paper that isn't moving and is at a set distance. When things are moving and adrenaline kicks in, you will find out that your airsoft hit percentage is probably right around there with um, the percentage of real shootings. The best we can get is from uh, New York police uh, data, which says average isn't three shots. Yeah, three, three, three. That's a good rule to kind of know. Um, three shots, three feet, if not three yards, but most are at three feet close contact distance but um new york eight shots when they want to semi autos went up from six because they probably went bang 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 click 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 to um to eight shots when they went to semi auto nine millimeters and um out of those eight shots both with that statistics and a little bit we get from swat statistics you're looking at 1.4 to 1.5 on average hits out of every eight shots the good guys fire and that and most you know police Hey, they usually got to qualify like twice a year. That's more than a lot of, uh, you know, citizens do. So, um, you know, and SWAT's supposedly not even higher than that. And SWAT is way higher trained, shooting more rounds than most, most people do. So, um, the fact that you can do scenarios and, uh, you know, starting in the open, we do back-to-back -back seven paces, and that's just one-on-one, -on -one, you know, and starting from behind cover, behind trees and stuff of that nature, and you find you're doing weird, funny things and shooting weird things, and you're shooting one-handed, just like most footage. Should you get, you get two hands on the pistol? Yes. As the gunfights progress, watch real footage, a lot of real footage from gunfights and robberies and things of that nature. There's a good channel on YouTube that does that. And even reenactments with simulations, there's another channel that does that. But watch the live stuff and see that, you know, you might start in a two-hand hold, go to a one-hand hold, running and moving, shooting one-handed, back to a two-hand hold, behind cover. That's how it goes down, and that's what you should practice. Um, and, uh, you know, guys, Airsoft is just it's just fun and awesome. And then if you want to get into some some John Wick Gun Fu, like I'm planning to do, and do some awesome jujitsu moves with a pistol in the hand, you could, as long as everyone wears goggles. Okay, be safe, my friends. And uh, if you have a gun for self-defense, get some airsoft similar to it. Even if you know, even if you have an AR or a shotgun, you know, get 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 something halfway similar. It's not as easy there, but you can get. Um, AR, yes, but, uh, you know, if you have something for home protection, get something similar and uh, practice with that airsoft. You can at least punch paper at home if you get some cardboard boxes and, um, you know, with, with uh, it will bounce off, usually cardboard with uh, spring guns. And um, with the... Uh, with the CO2 is more powerful, so be aware of that. Okay, yes, I know I just shot. Yes, I know that that was the wall. I know that that bright orange thing was the airsoft gun. And I know I wasn't gonna ding myself. So, um, anyway guys, uh, the CO2 has more power. You could shoot in a box at that inside the home. Um, be careful, close your window drapes. Look at my other video about that if you want to find out about that one. Even one just picking them up and moving to your bed because you're packing your stuff to move. So, um, anyway, I can put stuff away now. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Take care.